Hi everybody, my name is Morgana Wilborn, Director of Education, and it's so wonderful to see you all on another Mindful Monday. Uh, so I have been still struggling with, you know, isolation, loneliness, the fear of the unknown, and working on a lot of self-soothing myself <laughs> um, when I don't have the connection um, that I need from friends and family, those that I care about, still existing in moments where, you know, what will happen if we begin to open up our cities again? Are we still safe? Am I safe if I don't have uh, the love that I need? Um, these moments are really hitting on, you know, are they're triggering us and hit on traumas of our past, right? Um, and during a time of Mental Health Awareness Month, you know, I just really ask you to check in with yourself and check in with your health providers um, and see how our practitioners can, you know, meet you where you are, listen, provide you any advice. So really lean into that. I've been listening a lot to Tara Brock and her Pathways of I to We. And she has a wonderful podcast that uh, talks about how we should become aware of the pain of separation and lean into it and practice heart meditations, offering love to oneself and to others. Being able to go through those meditations of sending love to yourself, sending love to those who are you are in conflict with and those who you have yet to meet and those who you care about, who you have yet to see again. She also reminds us to practice gratitude, writing three things that we are grateful for each and every day. Um, I've been doing a lot of journaling myself in that. Um, and just being able to uh, soften our hearts, soften ourselves, because we are separated. And we have built up walls, literally living within walls away from others and building walls in our heart. And how can we begin to melt those walls? She talks about nurturing kinship with others that we care about um, and really being able to dissolve the walls that separate us. So I hope that uh, in those moments, you know, like myself, where you want to just curl up on your couch and deal with isolation and loneliness by yourself. And sometimes it is that way. Sometimes we are in a place of quiet. But I hope that you are able to look up to the light and get up out of those moments of isolation, those walls you've built in your heart and begin to nurture those kinships around you, whether it is online, through your phone, calling, texting, zooming, sitting uh, six feet apart if they're in your they're your in your yard or you know what have you. How are you nurturing kinship with self and others that you love? So it's so good to see you all. Hope you continue to have a really good week <laughs> and embracing all of the things that are unknown to us right now. Um, so I send you so much love and light as you go into your week.